to our deep dish competition. Ross and Danny are battling Drew and Pilar with their pizza recipes using the mystery ingredients, orange marmalade, pickles, and jerky. Whichever team wins gets bragging rights and the coveted deep dish trophy. You listen to put on the mantle. Now, Guy, you did a blind taste test before the show. I did a blind show. tasting, great. Okay, so that's What did bad. you think of the two pizzas? All right. The first one, one I was scared to death of marmalade, mm. uh, beef jerky, and pickles. Fair. Um, because the, in the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. All right, somebody could get hurt. Um, loved the pickled vegetables and the jerky. Notice exactly where the jerky was. I could find all of the ingredients in the dish. Most importantly, what I really enjoyed, and it didn't have anything to do with it, was the sesame seed crust mm-hmm. around the outside. Pretty dynamite, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. Now, I transition, I come over to this pizza. Yeah. But this right here is uber creative. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is thinking outside the box. This is the kind of move that you would have to do in a competition if you wanted to win. You have to go for broke. Now, I, I think the pickled carrots were dynamite. I think the jerky, the mushroom jerky was really innovative. It didn't say what kind of jerky you had to use. Mm-hmm. And I think that anytime you can incorporate flavor into the crust, especially using the pickle brine, spot on. Thank so as I went back and forth, the winner, ladies and gentlemen, in the first annual, never to be repeated, <laughs> deep dish competition, the winner, the trophy, the bragging rights, and the invitation to your house for New Year's goes to... It's not a tie. The win goes to... What? Drew Pilar! Oh! It was, I'm telling you something, super mindful. There were so many components. I really think that the, um, the working the jerky out, making that come together, and so it, did, it wasn't jerky, was, was really insightful. Matter of fact, if that was on a menu, that would be an orderable pizza without question. That could be a benchmark pizza for somebody. <laughs> my entire weekend right here. The way that you speak is, it's just a, it's like you have your own language and dictionary about food, the lexicon, the words, the description, and it just shows like why you are who you are. And because everything else is amateur hour in the vernacular of yep. culinary world. Uh, like you are Guy Pieti for the reasons that you are. We love you guys and I'm sorry. Uh, I, you know, I always liked Guy, but now I feel like he's a little jerky. Oh. Yes. All right, let's end this segment before more shots are fired. <laughs> All right, well, thank, thank you, you everybody, and um, congratulations, Pilar. We did it. All right, when we come back, Guy's taking a bite out of some news viral food trends. Yes, please. We'll be right back. 